Because it's easy to talk about problems. It's one thing to talk about that, but then what's the outcome when you've arranged a flow between all three that's consistent? Well, first, for me, I can only speak from my experience and the experience of people I've helped attain that level of consciousness, really. So I'll speak from my experience. At first, it was really weird to consider a completely different configuration than one that I'd traditionally been savvy about, which is the chakras. And so I spent a lot of time kind of focusing in on thinking about my body as the golden ratio. And with that came a whole lot more energy flow, faster energy flow, brain, heart, gut, gut, heart, brain, no problem allowing energy to flow quite quickly between those three areas of the body. And then secondly, the biggest change was being able to feel more fully in my body. And honestly, as a psychic, that's one of my hardest things (laughs) to stay grounded in my body because I'm seeing so much information all the time. So to feel really at home in my body, comfortable with my body, And then lastly, to receive constant feedback from all three minds simultaneously, to see, to feel, and to know all the time, and for them to happily communicate to one another. I've retrained my body to do that. And so now when I go into a situation or I'm, for example, perhaps doing a session for someone, I'm using all three of my spiritual skill sets all at once to make sense of information, and this leads us into discernment, which truly is one of the most important things that we could all be taking part in. It makes the discernment easy. And, you know, I don't think that asking for help is something that's wrong at all. In fact, I always need help (laughs) because when we're in our own experience, it can be hard. But one of the most important things we need to do as humans is to recognize our sovereignty and to be able to be empowered in the moment to make quick decisions and not feel like we need to constantly depend on anything outside the self. So it reconnects me to source, to the source field where all that wisdom and knowledge is available so I can see, feel, and know And I I used to only function from my third eye. So I had completely cut off my ability to feel and my intuition from my gut. And this changed the game entirely. I can actually make much, much better decisions. And as a seer, you know, you can be deceived by what you see. Just because you see it doesn't mean you know it. And that, you know, I had to come down off my high horse of arrogance around seeing and recognize that all three of these abilities absolutely is our divine birthright to really see, feel, and know the truth. Well, to feel then from my heart space has been probably my greatest challenge. But when I can serve someone with that full feeling of all of that energy and then feel and into my gut and know that that's true, what I'm telling that person, then my ability to serve is is heightened by a thousand percent. Mm-hmm. It makes it so much easier to trust what I'm saying. And then I can ask that person, well, how does that feel? Do you feel that's right? Do you resonate with that in your body? Getting them to feel into what I've said to them so they can decide if that's true or not. Because it doesn't matter what I say. What matters is if that person resonates with what I say. And knowing that that is how we can function has changed everything for me. And that's how my experience has led to this profound, completely different functioning in the world and fully grounded in my body and enjoying being in my body. 